Guys, we're out here with 22 Plinkster out at his range. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, he's got one of our Beretta 81 chambered in 32 ACP. So it's a caliber, I guess you'd say a step up from a 22. Yeah, just a little bit, I guess. A little video dude, man. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, and from what you were telling us, this is the first center-fired Beretta that you'll shoot? I think it is. I don't even think I've ever... No, whoa, 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 whoa. I said that off camera. I did shoot a 92 and a 40 cal like three times, like seven or eight years ago. Yeah. So, but this will be the second one and definitely the first. I think it's the first 32 I've ever fired. I don't awesome. think I've ever even shot a 32 before in my life. So, cool. Yeah, man. We'll put some rounds down range and tell us what you think. Now, this is the first time I've ever shot this gun, so yeah. it is not a full review. So... Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, let's 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 try something close. All right, looks like it shoots almost point of aim. All right, see if we can hit the 100 yard target. Nice. Well, I hit it once. I think I was going a little bit low on the last couple of shots, but man, I like it. Yeah, now, you guys sell these yeah. on your on your website? Yeah, classicfirearms.com, guys. You can find our Beretta 81s here, 32 ACP again, or 765 Browning. So, thoughts about 32 ACP and the Very, very mild recoiling. Yeah. Um, and I've got like Sasquatch hands. I've got really large hands. And so the wide grips, man, they fit Still perfect. Yeah. And somebody with smaller hands, it'd probably even fit better. Yeah. But very light recoiling. Um, it ran. It did not malfunction. Yeah. And, you know, it's a lot better than a sharp stick. It could probably get you out of a uh, out of a pinch and a jiffy. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah I like it. I want to shoot it again. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, I've got plenty of rounds. All right, let's shoot it again. All right. All right, I got another clip loaded up here. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. All right, got 12 rounds in a magazine. All right, we're gonna, I think I can do a little bit better at 100 yards here. I'm gonna aim at 12 o'clock. That's a hit. Where am I going, guys? High. High, High. left. High left. That's strange. It'll shoot. I just gotta find out exactly where the point of aim of this thing. Let's load up another magazine, try it again. All right, never done this before. I'm gonna try to split a playing card before I slap some more steel. I don't even know exactly where the point of aim is on this thing, so I'm already making excuses now. And I'm about 600 feet away from the playing card. Or 20, either or. <laughs> I can't see it. high there we go second shot card went split so i'm wearing not even my glasses but it doesn't matter i'm not shooting he got to put on my glasses because it's really hard to see in the woods here it is so i split the playing card on my second shot legitimately yeah. second shot yes but i have a rule at my house if someone okay. comes to my house and shoot they have to split a playing card you ever split a playing card before i have not well <laughs> It's going to be a little difficult to do with that gun, but good luck there, buddy. So right, we'll we only have it. about 100 rounds of ammo left, but yeah. maybe maybe you can split it. Good luck. Let's see how it goes, guys. Just I've got 22. On the first shot, you yeah. make me look bad. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. i got 22 Plinkster Vision now with his glasses. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll be 32 Plinkster. Let's see. Let's oh, give it a bro. shot. I hope he splits it on the first shot. Uh, don't, don't jinx me. <laughs> All there is right. no playing card. All right. I don't think you have to worry about that. Oh boy. Dang it. Did you hit the two? I think you hit the two by four. I thought I got lucky guys, but uh, apparently all I did was strip the tape off of it. So let's see if I can do this. I've got a couple rounds left, I think. Oh. I don't think I hit the card. 
Just grazed it, let's see. Man, you are going to owe me a new two by four. <laughs> Yeah, you hit right here. You see the bullet. Yeah. Did you get the tape? Yeah. <laughs> okay. we'll, ha we'll have to call that one. All right, guys, we're about to take a couple of shots through 22 Plinkster's patent pending target here. Uh, you're just going to have to watch to see how it works because it's pretty tricky. Uh, but we're going to be using his Volkortsen 22. This thing is sweet. It's sitting on a Smith & Wesson Victory frame. Everything else is Volkortsen. Uh, the barrel, it just is beautiful. The fit and finish on it is phenomenal. And, uh... Yeah, let's see if we can actually hit this thing. Going a little high. Okay, it goes a little high. Okay. So it's kind of, this seem you gotta aim about an inch low. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get this 22 Plinkster target down here. Let's see. Oh, that's way high. I gotta go low. That's right. Too low. There you there go. It is. There you uh, go. Hey, I got it a few times. I'm happy with that. That's pretty good. <laughs> So talk about a fun day with 22 Plinkster. Guys, the Barrett 81 is a great little shooter as 22 showed y'all. I need a little bit more practice with it though so I can split a playing card as easy as 22 did. Uh, but hey, if you've already got one, send us in your footage of trying to split a playing card. I think that would be pretty cool. And if you don't have one, what are you what are you waiting for these things are sweet so go pick them up all right guys check out our current giveaway too it's a pretty sweet one you don't want to miss out on that and also as always we appreciate you and your business god bless and we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com